Hi guys, Norman Duke here, doing a commentary video for Napoleon Total War. I am playing as France, or my opponent is playing as Prussia. And I cut out the first uh, minutes of battle because it was just me moving from the deployment position to here. Let's give a look at my French army. I have 4 units of the Voltigeurs. I have 2 units of the Old Guard. 2 units of the Young Guard. It's a pretty elite uh, army. And my cover is composed of uh, uh, one unit of dragoons, one unit of the fifth hussars, and one unit of lancers. Now let's give a look at my opponent's army. He's playing his brush, as I told you, and he has some Jaegers. I believe he has uh, four units of them. He has lots of musketeers. One, two, three, four, five, six units. He has uh, Schwetzen. Two units. So he has two units of Jaegers and two units of Swetch. Swet but both guys. <laughs> Sorry. He has then uh, these, these guys here, which are militia. The, I'm not trying to pronounce it. And he has two units of Lancers and one unit of Dragoons. We both have the General Staff also. As you can see, action is already started. Here I am charging his, uh, his guys up on this uh, hill to avoid being flanked. Well here my skirmishers are training fire with his skirmishers and as you can see here I am flanking his line of infantry and I think he made a mistake uh, dividing his army because he had the advantage in number but he uh, renounced to it dividing his army. As you can see there's a huge fight going on here and I am pretty much sacrificing sorry for his leg. I am pretty much sacrificing my cavalry uh, because I am fighting a uh, line infantry, which is not a good thing, and here is charging him with all this cavalry also. But this is uh, allowing me to surround his infantry, and this body of infantry. Our oh, men are running, sir! Yeah, that was uh, pretty much obvious. And this body of infantry is pretty much going to get slaughtered, as you can see, these threats are getting shot from all directions. And I made a mistake here because you can see there's um, this turning feature here of uh, his dune is blocking most of my old guard's shots. And this old guard unit, uh, unit is also positioned uh, not quite optimally. But in any case, I route his, his uh, Schwetzen and so I am moving uh, forward to flank him. And here my cavalry got pretty much destroyed. And uh, he could have uh, spared some men to reinforce his right flank, but he didn't. So I'm killing everything that moves here. He's trying to advance for some reason, maybe he's trying to assault, I don't know. But his men are walking, and so they are getting shot. Must not be good to be in that unit, in my opinion. They run away. So you can see I'm pretty much destroyed Our men uh, are running, uh, sir. the main body of infantry was suffering uh, very light losses on the infantry side uh, my cavalry got destroyed my dragoons are still fighting no they're not <laughs> but as you can see yeah I lost 3 units of cavalry cavalry uh, however it's pronounced English is not my first language as you might have noticed but my infantry is, uh, is almost untouched and his infantry is pretty much destroyed. Here I move my skirmishers to uh, avoid being flanked. His musketeers are in a nice column. So they are pretty much renouncing to their superior superiority in fighting skirmishers. Because line infantry, ordinary, uh, is very good against skirmishers, provided it, uh, it is in range. Because there is much more of these guys and they have higher morale, but in this situation they cannot fire with all of, uh, of their men at least some of them can fire he's moving them away but they are getting shot in the back so it's not a good thing, I am moving my men forward and here I am uh, um, trying to flank him as you can see he is withdrawing he is surviving unit of musketeers and he is deploying on the top of his hill to defend and I could have really uh, flanked him with all of my men moving in uh, this direction, but I didn't. I don't know why, frankly. Probably because it would have took some time. 
And here he is charging my guys, but they uh, put down uh, sticks. However, <sighs> in Napoleon, sticks get destroyed after cavalry hit them, so uh, they did some damage to me, but now he's retreating. And I am shooting him in the back. So it must not be good to be in that cavalry unit. And here, as you can see, I'm deploying a line of battle. My skirmishers are firing some shots, but uh, they're not really doing much damage because he is on high ground. And uh, a nice thing about Napoleon Total War is that uh, reloading times are uh, much uh, uh, inferior to Empires, and this is actually more realistic because it takes about um, 10 to 15 seconds to reload a musket. While in Empire it took uh, really ages. And here I was was thinking about just standing still and uh, trade fire, but since it was on higher ground, this could have uh, resulted in my defeat because our difference in numbers is not that great, but he has the advantage in uh, uh, position. So as you can see here, I first shoot some volley, but then I launch my man to the assault. And but since my men are all guard units, well his men are ordinary musketeers, they're pretty much uh, better in uh, melee. So you go to the assault. Yeah, we're doing the same, we're charging. And uh, this was actually uh, something that uh, could have happened into a Napoleonic battle. Because if your opponent is on higher ground... Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! I was trying to get my general, I retreated, and I sent my skirmishers to the assault to protect him. It's not like skirmishers can do much against cavalry, uh, well besides that this unit of lancers is depleted, but losing my general to this point could have really resulted into my loss, my defeat. Because morale is fundamental in this kind of situations. So this assault was... Uh, really um, a gamble. You form into a square here and fight me. I have a guard. He only has musketeers. Here I won the fight. Here I am winning as well. Yes, cavalry did not notice that. This... Uh, oh, <laughs> sorry. But in any case, as you can see, uh, French flags are much more than Prussian flags at this point. Uh, this unit of uh, Schwetzen survived. They recovered. Our men are running, they are sir! They are not doing nothing. They are not doing anything, sorry. In Italian we have uh, double negation so that uh, in Italian you can say uh, not doing nothing and it means doing nothing. In English it's not the same but sometimes I get confused. Yeah, I charge his cover with infantry, which is kind of <laughs> fun. <laughs> and this fight wasn't going uh, too well for me. Because for some reason, square formation happens to be effective against the infantry as well. But I get the guard, it does not. And plus, I am firing at his back. Well, I am effectively firing through this cover, so I'm not doing pretty much damage, but that's enough. A glorious victory, sir, is soon to be and yours. Yes, only two units left. We are not going to last that long. And they fight are pretty fun to watch in Napoleon. More than an empire. Plus, the French uniform are really good. Napoleon actually. Um, had the best stylist of this time um, to redesign it. Anyways, was the birth of the uh, uniform myth. Well, I win this battle at this point because uh, there's no units left. And this was my uh, second time playing against this opponent. We played another time before. I won both battles. But this one was better, much more action. So my opponent was Artex. Good game to him. 
and thank you for watching see you later